What if you could find a secure, well-paying government job, but instead of a cubicle, your office has an endless horizon? It's definitely not your nine to five job. Never a dull moment. It's kind of fun. Instead of a commute, you get to travel around the world. The good places not many people get to go. We got some time in at St. Kitts and in the Virgin Islands. We're going to take off to uh, French Polynesia and Nukahiva. Places I've never been. Places that are so pristine that no one in the commercial industry will ever get to. And what if, instead of a monotonous day-in, day-out shift, your job was surrounded by cutting-edge technology and groundbreaking discoveries every day? They get involved in projects that you read about in the news. There's always new things that you're discovering. You're around, surrounded by the latest and greatest technology, uh, new designs, new engineering systems. That's what you'll find in a career with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, the premier science agency of the United States federal government. Aboard NOAA's growing fleet of oceanographic and fishing vessels, career positions are available at all levels of experience, including no experience. As a civilian mariner with NOAA, you'll have opportunities to train and work at sea aboard state-of-the-art scientific ships, which are commanded and managed by officers in the NOAA Corps, as well as civilian officers. The NOAA Corps is a branch of the Uniformed Service dedicated specifically to NOAA and under NOAA's own leadership. You'll work in concert with these officers and visiting science teams in support of NOAA's mission to further the nation's understanding of oceans and atmosphere, support commerce, and protect lives and property. It's no small thing that, the, the, that we're going out and that the data we collect is the data that they use to manage the fisheries. We're part of that, there's no doubt. That's, that's what we do. A lot of the science that is done out here is uh, pretty high profile stuff and these ships support that science. All through college you learn about NOAA as being a leader in oceanographic research and to be able to work for the organization is pretty amazing. The instruments that protect our coasts from deadly tsunamis are deployed by NOAA wage mariners. When disasters occur at sea, NOAA ships respond, lending their unique capabilities to mitigation efforts. And research that shapes national policy on air quality Climate change, fishery management, and many other key issues could not be maintained without competent mariners keeping the ship and its crew going. Without the mariners, you will not accomplish any mission. A deck officer, as myself, drives the ship, whereas the mariner will be the one that's actually making sure that we get our mission completed. We will get out there, they will service the buoy, they will make sure that we get the fishing lines in and out. They're the ones that feed us. They're the ones that collect some of the scientific data, and they're the ones that clean the ship and maintain the ship and make sure it's running in proper condition. Most of the vessels in the NOAA fleet remain in U.S. waters. Home ports are many, from Woods Hole to Kodiak, and from Charleston to Honolulu. Many of the ships in the fleet are new, with more on the way, which means you'll have the opportunity to work on high-tech, modernized platforms, such as acoustically quiet fishery science vessels and a recently refitted ship devoted entirely to ocean exploration. When, when you're bringing stuff up from the ocean, it's, 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 it's really exciting to see these, especially stuff you've never seen before. Stuff that looks just like that I don't know, weird cartoons and the science fiction stuff, you know? It's an unbelievable science platform. Everything from acoustics to fish surveys to charting the ocean bottom to studying the water column. Uh, basically, in a nutshell, it's like the space shuttle, but on the ocean, you know? Most NOAA mariner positions fall under one of four departments. The deck department, the engineering department, the steward department, and the survey department. If there's one thing that's produced on every NOAA cruise, it's data. From surveys of fish stocks, to remote sensing, to the locating of shipwrecks. Massive amounts of data are mined on every trip made by every ship. This information is the main objective of most missions, and the proper management of the data is the crucial function of NOAA's survey department. You can think of it as an onboard scientist. I'm responsible for all the data acquisition on a vessel. NOAA ships host all